And now, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie Chase and filling in for Laurie Ann Crook, Jeannie Seeley. Great. How about my co-host tonight? Lori Ann has the night off. She's over in South Carolina getting ready for the big show I'll be joining her with uh, tomorrow night. And from the Grand Ole Opry, always fun to have her here, Jeannie Seeley. Oh, Good. thank you. Thank you for inviting me again. I appreciate it. I've got to tell you, in talking with Jeannie prior to the show, I found out that this year is kind of special for you because it marks an anniversary of your first coming to Nashville, right? Absolutely. 30 oh, years ago. I know I look way too young for this to be possible. <laughs> be kind now, be kind. Okay, yeah, sure. But it was 30 right. years ago this year that I came to Nashville. From Pennsylvania. I moved here from uh, California. Actually. But you're from, I'm from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania originally, uh huh. Okay, so you so, came to Nashville 30 years ago. Uh -huh. Let's talk about the big break. Everybody talks about how they got into the business one way or the, the other. Big break. Who was your big, big break? Big break came from Porter Wagner. Okay. Porter Wagner hired me for his road show. Uh, about a month after I moved to Nashville. Well, and that was good. It was great. I really, I've always appreciated that. And, you know, I, I loved being part of Porter Show. Mm -hmm. But um, I got a big hit. So I had to go out on my own. Right. I've always been kind of disappointed, though, because I'd hoped to record some duets with Porter, you really? know? But then Dolly Parton came along, and her hits were bigger than mine. So. Oh. <laughs> hits. Stop it. What do you think I said? I'm... Maybe you should have said records. <laughs> Hit records, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what happened anyway. And that's really how, how things got started. Yeah. You should be very proud of the Grand Ole Opry. I'm Everybody very, is. very proud. And they say of every time the door is open, you're over there performing. Is that correct? Right? If they'll let me in and put me on, because I absolutely love the Grand Ole Opry. I, mm -hmm. I grew up with it. Wonderful. It's All brilliant. right. Now, one thing that I also found surprising in talking with Jeannie, you don't have a chance to really get out and enjoy things like movies, for example. No, and I love movies, but I really don't go Last that movie you saw was what? Casablanca. The <laughs> Casablanca? Are you serious? I, yeah, we rented it. I'm just not, <laughs> I'm not big at going anywhere. Uh, I'd rather just bring it in. Well, what's your break tradition? There's one movie you got to see. Uh, I don't know if any of you have seen it in here or not. It's like the biggest movie opening ever. Batman Forever. Batman Forever? Batman Forever. You ought to go see that you one. You know what? They should have had you play that part. Batman? Batman, yeah. Me? Yeah. Don't you think? Well, wasn't it? it wasn't it? No. It's a great. What is it? Is it because I'm handsome and heroic and that sort of thing? No, I think it's because you look better in a mask. <laughs> This is your audience, Charlie. Your crowd tonight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as I mentioned, we're thrilled that uh, Jeannie is here to know we are. <laughs> you be kind to me the rest of the night, all right? Okay, I we're going to have a lot of fun. This lady is from Isn't Pennsylvania. It? You're Dutch? Pennsylvania Dutch. And yeah. he's Cajun, so what are the similarities, or are there any? <laughs> Let's see. Well, see there's Are there some we can talk about, Jimmy? <laughs> Jolie no, Blonde. one thing is uh, both the Cajuns and Pennsylvania Dutch say some things backwards, you know. Like, I know we always say, uh, open the window up and all that, but we were talking one day, so we could, and we swing the door too and walk in side by each. <laughs> So that's what they say? That's the Pennsylvania Dutch and the Cajun together. Yeah, she threw in some of my uh, sayings. Mine swing the door, too, and his is walking side by eight. Yeah, You'd like, have to be there, Charlie. It's like, don't yeah. try to... I, Charlie, there's some things you just can't explain oh, to Charlie Chase. Yeah. Yeah. I said, why don't we call it whatever boys are crawfish? And then uh -huh. we'll do the song later on, so it's more explanatory. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like uh, whatever turns you on, you know, yeah. for a Cajun. Or whatever yeah. blows up your skirt, I've heard so. <laughs> I, that's Cajun, that's not... No, that's, that's, <laughs> that's Jeannie Seeley. That's East Tennessee. No, it's not Bill Billy. Don't, don't hand me that. Well, I learned it in East well, Tennessee. <laughs> Let's just cool this thing off.
up a little bit here. Shane, I have to tell you that when I met Steve Warner, he was 18 years old when no I first kidding. met him. So maybe it, that'll be a little thing to bring you some good well, luck. If it's an omen, I'll take it. I'll I say, hope so, I'll... yeah. I've, I've never met him. Stephen um, Noel, then. Mm -hmm. He was Stephen Noel, played bass with Dottie West. That's right, he did, yeah. didn't he? Well, All right. uh, I've well, never met you, Steve, but... Uh... <laughs> you'll love him. Well, you'll, you'll, you'll eventually yeah. run into Steve. Well, um, <laughs> Fast as I could go is 25 miles an hour because I was pulling this trailer and I guess my injectors were dirty, whatever the heck that means. I don't know. Some guy <laughs> told me my injectors were dirty once and I hit him. I, well, I didn't know whether I should be insulted or not. It just offended me. Okay. I was lonely when he told me, so. Yeah. Yeah. I see that I shouldn't have done that now. Yeah. But yeah. It's some serious I business in injectors, I tell you yeah. what. Well, <laughs> I want to ask you about this Bubba's of America Club now. Yes, dude. Yeah. That's, that not, that's not just a good old boy thing now. Oh, but you no. know how I feel about that. Is that 40 a club? 40% of that's... our membership is, uh, is female. We call them Bubbettes. Bubbettes. Yeah. And you too could be a Bubbette. I'd like to be a Bubbette. As a matter of fact, I got you a t shirt. The thing for a Bubbette? Absolutely. I'm almost absolutely. afraid to use ask, a bigger but... mirror. <laughs> <laughs> This, I knew I see, shouldn't this have This is asked. the official T-shirt. It says official member Bubba's of America. It's got Big Bubba on the back. And, okay. and, uh, and we got those. Those are fan clubs. That's for you, Joe. Oh, Charlie, we ran, out, we ran out of the good stuff, but I didn't want to leave you out. And, uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. That we, looks like real we, Bubba. We got... And I hope I'm not bringing up something I shouldn't, but word is that you were a little ups upset over something that happened or maybe didn't happen during fanfare. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that true? I'm glad you it's brought okay that up. Yeah, it's right. okay. Uh, it wasn't anything that happened out at Fanfare itself. It's oh. just something I heard about. I, you know, it just kind of made me feel bad. I heard where all these young girl fans were throwing unmentionables over Marty Stewart's fans. Did you hear about that? At, at his house? I guess. Were... I don't know. But anyway, I felt pretty bad. And, I, and of course, you know me, as shy as I am, I was telling people, just hurt my feelings, nobody had ever done that for me. And that hadn't tossed and her underwear then, across? But someone was really nice, and I got out there the next day, and these had been thrown over my fence. And I couldn't imagine. I thought I had a fan, you know, and then I got to look, and there was a number inside, and it was TNN Viewer Services number. So I called and checked up, and I said, they said to ask you if these look familiar to you, Charlie. Right over here, darling. Thank you. That won, all, that won all kinds of awards for you, didn't it? Yeah, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm like Shane, that's the one I was waiting for. Well, I, well I, I'm sure that'll be noted in this museum. In Oil yeah, City, I, Pennsylvania, they have I you in a museum? I am so it? thrilled about this. It's, it's great, you know, when you get honored anywhere, but your home state, your hometown people, and mm -hmm. uh, this is an exhibit. I want you to notice one thing that impressed me, and I'm sure it will impress you. This the is the right. Venangle Museum of Art, Science, and Industry. It says right here, a commitment to education and culture, and that's me. I know they're very now, proud they, of you. They're running an exhibit there mm -hmm. on me from July 21st this year through October. Good. And um, I'm very proud of that. Okay, check it out if you're in the area. Yeah. What city is it again? In Oil, Oil City, Pennsylvania. Oil City, Pennsylvania. What's that close to? Ah. Close, it's in the northwest corner. Gotcha. Close to Erie. All right, gotcha. Erie. Nashville's yeah. Breakfast Theater. You're, yes. you're performing there. What? How many days a week? Well, uh, down the street here from us. Three to anywhere from three to five days a week. I, I'm I alternate with Del Reeves. We mm -hmm. were there this morning. We're going to be there tomorrow morning. Right. Okay. And in the meantime, you're up in Pigeon Forge as well. Getting ready to open a new theater in Pigeon Forge, uh, Music Mountain Theater, mm -hmm. featuring Grand Ole Opry stars. And I'll be working with some of my favorite people: Johnny Russell, oh, good. Jim Ed Brown, the four guys. Alex Houston and Elmer are going to be there. Wonderful. A lot of people are always asking this. Uh, they want to know, well, Ken Parrish is here from Wheeling, Illinois. Hello, Ken. Right there on the front. Hey, uh -huh. nice, nice shirt you're wearing, yeah. too, sir. Uh, uh, can you tell us how many Pearl is coming along now? Yes. As a matter of fact, um, 
Jan Howard sees Minnie quite often. She lives out in that area, and I was telling Jan the other day that I really would like to go out and see Minnie, but you know, you, you always want to ask and see, but she's doing great yeah. and still got such a wonderful sense of humor. And Jan said she mentioned it to Minnie, and Minnie said, I would love to see Jeannie, tell her to come out. But she also told me, if you don't want to hear the truth, don't ask Minnie, because <laughs> she's flat going to tell you. Oh, I know. She's a wonderful lady, too. Yeah, she still well. enjoys getting mail, by the way. Please drop her a card. Okay. Uh, Betty Blanken, you can do that in care of the Grand Ole Opry here, by the sure, way. Sure, be great. Betty Blankenship is here from Virginia. Is that Coburn, Virginia? Where's mm -hmm. Betty? Hi, Betty. And you brought along your, your partner <laughs> there, too. <laughs> Charlie, if you were stranded <laughs> on an island, I may need you to help me answer this one, Jeannie. <laughs> if you were stranded on an island with one person, would you choose Lori Ann Crook or Dolly Parton? I'm not giving you one bit of help on this answer. <laughs> Do I look crazy to you? You know, I, they're both friends of mine. They're both wonderful. You got a tough decision here. Which island is it? <laughs> Did they mention it? Well, let's see. Lorianne or Dolly? You should have asked depends, Bubba there sometime. It depends on whether or not I have a flotation device already. Today. <laughs> Thanks for watching at home. Thanks to our studio audience. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday right here. So long, everybody. Thank you.